This is Josh's house, a project we embarked on to prove that sustainable housing can be affordable and accessible. We've shared everything we've incorporated into the design and build of these two 10 star rated energy efficient homes. And in this, our final episode, we look back at exactly what we've achieved. My family and I have been living here now for a little over three months, and we simply love it. Our home has a wonderful indoor-outdoor feel, and the functionality is spot on. I've got to say, we're really, really happy here. I just believe that we should be expecting more from the places that we live. For me, it was about demonstrating that you can build a high-performance, sustainable home uh, on a similar time frame and a similar budget as a regular Aussie three by two. In terms of a, of a base build, the things you need to have a home that doesn't need air conditioning in this climate can be done for a typical price. I'd be kidding myself if I didn't recognise that there have been some challenges and ups and downs along the way. But we were blessed to have people come on board who believed in what we wanted to achieve. And that gave us plenty of encouragement. Josh is a bit of character, obviously. <laughs> and we, th we look, we see that as a positive as well. He's very enthusiastic, put it that way. So, fantastic. Let's get involved with that enthusiasm and do it. I think there's some really unique characteristics with the design, particularly with the way that it's, you've got two dwellings and abodes sharing a communal space. Um, I think that's really something quite special. You still have the ability to have private space as well as this communal space and, and easily um, uh, segregate it or at a later date if you wanted to change it, it has, has a lot of versatility so yeah I think it's really good. So ever since Josh started uh, talking about building a house and, and, and following this path I, I agree wholeheartedly with him in terms of creating uh, a model that is accessible to people. It looks like a normal house, it fits in to the sort of normal you know, feeling of what people see in the suburbs but it also has a lot more going for it. Overall, the project went smoothly and I think that came down to uh, a lot of planning. We certainly put more planning and more design time into this project than would normally happen in a regular build, um, but that's because we're doing things differently uh, and you know, we're, we're hoping that, that our process makes this easier for other people. But having said that, there were some times um, where I was under uh, immense pressure. You know, once we started nearing our self-imposed deadline, which was to have the project finished off, you know, in six, six and a half months, it was, you know, immensely stressful because we often had a lot of crew on site and, you know, in the background, I'm running a business that's paying the bills. That's demanding and brings, you know, pressure with it. Uh, but we're also, you know, filming regularly for Gardening Australia and to try and capture all that landscaping in a short period, we were doing a lot of filming, you know, sometimes a couple of times a week. We're filming for the Josh's House series, so really, um, in hindsight, I was just so grateful for everyone's, you know, patience and understanding, and, and uh, you know, we got there. What are the facts? What did we actually do in terms of hitting our targets? It took exactly six months and two weeks to build the two homes from start to finish, including the landscaping, which is bang on target. And we got it done with materials, suppliers, and tradespeople that anyone can access. The plan was to build a home for $1,200 a square metre, and we did that. The contract price of $240,000 included all of the design features to attain our 10 star NatEs rating. From there, we decided to upspec our bathrooms and kitchens as a personal choice and incorporated things like attic storage, again, at an additional cost. We also included sustainability features, such as rainwater tanks, grey water systems, LED lighting and solar panels, which added a combined cost of around $20,000 per home. Landscaping was where we treated ourselves, allocating around $100,000 across both properties. But the golden egg, how do the homes perform? 
demonstrating how these houses actually perform is clearly critical to the success and credibility of the project. So um, we've got the whole place wired up to look at thermal performance, that is how hot and cold they are inside compared to outside temperatures, uh, the water use and energy use. Uh, we've been here for a couple of months now and certainly anecdotally that they've been very comfortable. Uh, you know, our rainwater tanks are full and we're running the whole house off rainwater and we've seen some of the early power data um, that, uh, you know, we're generating twice as much as we're actually using. But the thermal performance is, is really interesting. And here's a little snapshot that we took from the middle of winter. And what we're seeing is that it's a really comfortable range between 18 degrees at the coolest and 25 degrees at the warmest at what is the coldest time of year here in Perth. And meanwhile, outside, it's got down to sort of six and seven degrees uh, and, you know, daytime maximum of around sort of 22 degrees. But we've got this lovely, fairly consistent and constant temperature of 18 to 25 degrees inside, which is just perfect. So it's going to be interesting when summer comes to see if they perform just as well. But the homes perform on many other levels as well. The food garden provides us with a great deal of our weekly needs. Our integrated water systems mean that we'll use around a third of the Perth average. That's a yearly savings of scheme water of around 270,000 litres for our house alone. The project is also about livability through good internal air quality, layout, light and a universal access design. From a monetary point of view, we calculate that we'll save around $3,500 a year on bills for each house. And over the life of our loan, that's around $90,000 at today's prices. Now that's high performance housing in anyone's language. That's a good idea. So we can just tear it apart a bit and I've given it a good wash. Well, today we're having a bit of a celebration. We're inviting over some of the key people who have been involved to date as a little bit of a thank you and to christen the back deck and the, the house officially. Uh, and it's important, you know, despite all of the, the challenges and the ups and downs, the, the joys and some of the frustrations of the project, it's important, I think, just to stop and realise really what it's all about at the end of the day. And that is to create a beautiful home uh, and a place where we can have a, a lovely, healthy, happy life. Isn't that right, mate? High five. That's the idea. I think it's a great project. You know, it's really good to come here and, and catch up with Josh and Kelly and family and uh, see how, how they're living in it. Because for me, houses are about livability and this house has a lot of that. And that's what I love, you know, it's about, um, it's about the social aspect of life. It's about getting together with family and community and, and, and sharing experience. And I think this is what I love about this project. It's like Josh is really sharing his life and his experiences with whole of Australia, in many ways the whole of the world. People kind of think sustainable housing are, you know, just the kind of hippie housing commune, but it's a, a beautiful looking house and it's a, you know, it's an average size and it's a just warm and, and lovely looking and, um, yeah, people are really inspired by it. I feel really inspired by it, so. It's a big sigh of relief, I think. It's just kind of, wow, it's all done. Uh, it's all finished and it's looking great. Yeah, it's just, I can't believe how from seeing something on plan to it actually being built and just all the revisions and things that we've gone through, um, it's great to see the final product. Made a more personable guy, of course, and, and so genuine as well. You kind of, I'm always amazed when you talk with him, you think, does he have an off switch? How can he be this enthusiastic all the time? So great from that perspective. But the real bonus is kind of his mix of, of uh, I guess, knowledge of gardening and, and sustainability in general. Um, I guess mixed with that real intellectual um, uh, capacity as well and the backing everything up with science as well. Um, it, it enables him to work across multiple spheres and, and have a presence and, and have, have recognition across multiple areas of the community and that, that can't be underestimated in terms of the, um, the importance I guess. What it showed was that our trades that are building the same thing over and over again out there in the building world can actually lend their hand to this thing easily uh, with, a, with a few tricks to the trade. They know how to do it, they've just got to apply it. If you can actually do affordable, sustainable housing for the same price, that's livable and performs well, then this should be the housing, the only housing we build. It shouldn't be a rare exception you have to queue up to see. It should be that 
every house we build from now on actually meets these criteria. There's no reason why it shouldn't. And this is, I guess, is why it's important that this project's kind of been so well documented and the evidence is there and we can actually start to roll that out in terms of how government thinks about the housing sector and how the industry does as well. I'm very interested just to see how it keeps going. You know, I don't think it ends here. Um, I mean, it's certainly all, all the hard work you can see where it's all come to, but uh, I'm really interested as to seeing how it progresses and develops and, and uh, yeah, grows on from here. Well, there you have it. The back deck is officially christened. And what a great bunch of people to do it with. I mean, these guys have helped make this project possible. And uh, I just hope that what we've done together uh, help other people on their home building journey to do things in new and creative ways. Uh, and look, we've been overwhelmed with the great feedback we've had and, and that makes all of this so worthwhile. And for now, you know what? It's our family home. Josh's house is more than a home. It's a movement towards what so many of us want to see, responsible, sustainable housing. It can be a reality now, and I hope what we've done pushes things forward. But it doesn't end here. You can stay updated with how these homes are performing, and plenty more via the website joshshouse.com.au, where I'll also keep you posted as to what I've got planned next. He's gonna start filming. So, yeah. We've got the, um, the pergolas that'll have drapes, oh, sorry, it'll also have sail shades as the, as the creepers grow up. Grow up. <laughs> no, 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 no. Best, but, oh, thanks. But, um, I, can't, I can't think of what I was saying now, I got whacked in the face by a spade. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah.